Hawkins here with Chicken Heart Farm Set. Today I'm going to show you what uh, I've been feeding my quail. So far, I think it's been working pretty good. Not a lot of issues. I haven't been able to find like high protein uh, game feed really at a real source that's close to me or convenient. So let me show you what I'm doing. And if you're a long term quail raiser, I guess, let me know what you think. Because I've only been doing this for a few months, like five or six months. And I'm doing my first batch of meat quail and they seem to be growing quite well so far all right uh let's get to it here's the process it's pretty easy uh i went and i found this at our local tractor supply there we go get your high protein 100 uh, black larva black soldier fly larva this bag's costing me what was it spread it uh 30 dollars 29.99 and that's for five pounds of the dried larva there. Now, I've been seeing this, or uh, they had, what was it? The mealworms, which, I mean, you can use as a supplement as well, I know. But they were $75, $80 for a um, 10-pound bag. And that was half price because normal price was $120. So, I don't know what's going on there because everything I've heard, black soldier fly larva, is a lot better source of protein for these things because they got more fat and stuff in them. But let me know if you heard anything like that or if you know why that would cost so much more. Maybe this just hadn't caught on and maybe I need to stock up on this stuff before uh, people catch on that this is better. All right, so then we got the meat bird crumbles. Uh, I know this is not organic or anything crazy like that, but it is what it is. Sometimes you gotta go with what you can find and source pretty easily. All right, now here's a little data sheet. Why well, it got stuck like that, I don't know. You can see right there, protein 21% and fat, what, we're looking at three. You can see there's some calcium and all the other good whatnots in there. Uh, this thing is $21.99 right now. And today is 23rd of October, 2022. Just for a reference on pricing. Because those things have been changing quite a bit. Uh, back here you can see we have proteins at 34, fat 23, there's the fiber, moisture, and the rest of the specs on there. Alright, so the way I combine these, because these things they won't really eat. They'll peck at them sometimes and stuff, but I've noticed like when I first started doing it, they put them in there and it wasn't working out. That's why we got our Harbor Freight Bucket right here. This is our feed mixing so what i do is i pour you know four or five inches of this grab a handful from over here squish them all up and kind of shred them in my hands go back over here do the same pour a little bit more and back and forth until we full and then use this as what i feed out of so i'll show you how quick that is really easy process So as you can see from that, real easy. Just kind of mix it up. And I like using that bucket uh, for my feed. So whenever I need to refill, I just got that little scoop. Scoop it out. Dump it in. I'm not messing with the bag and crap. And it just makes it... To me, it's a little bit easier with my current setup and my current feeders. I've uh, been learning exactly like, you know, one scoop for some of the feeders. And then the other one takes three. And then it's about the right height. So part of that's just kind of, I guess, learning my setup exactly. Stuff like that. But... <clears throat> let me know what you think i think it's a good way uh, i know it's my eggs production uh has went up i've had some days where i've had you know some of them double a so i might only get you know three out of the four birds and then i end up getting uh five out of the cage that one day and stuff and well the ones i'm growing for meat i don't know how big necessarily they're gonna get in the eight to 12, 10 weeks but we're right around, I think, six weeks right now. And, yeah, there's some good size. I mean, they, they look definitely look full grown. A lot bigger than I expected to where I'm going to have to make sure I go ahead and get any get another cage done and built because there's way too much bird in those cages, if that makes sense. But that's it for now. Uh, hope you liked it. Maybe this will help. Find a, If you can't find the perfect feed source, you know, sometimes make your own. Found that to be the case in this one. 
because it, if it's the price is way too much and you're or you're having to drive what you know two or three hours to go get it and things like that it just doesn't make sense you know yeah what we all like to be doing organic raised by blind orphan children in the middle of nepal or whatever it is sure but don't let you know what do they say don't let perfect be the enemy of good or something like that basically don't not do something just because you can't find the perfect solution or the perfect way you want to do it sometimes just get it done and yeah that can be as simple as how you're going to feed something you know as i as this goes longer if i find better sources or better ways or i can you know i plan on starting to do fodder for them at some point and i'm gonna put you know make little cages so they can actually get some fresh like sprouts basically and stuff that's the plan in the future but i need to get it done i'm getting it done i got it loaded or uh started and we're going from there and as we build it we'll make it better so have a good one